Hey guys, I'm Lily O'Reilly. This is Lily O'Reilly Reviews, and today we're gonna read some comments just for the hell of it. So let's get to that, huh? All right, so in case you're wondering about my interesting attire, I put this on for a premium show and I realized I never wear my leather, especially now that we're in quarantine. So for shits and giggles, I wanted to wear it on here for y'all. However, it seems kind of weird to get like all gussied up for just a review. So we're going to read ignorant YouTube comments in a corset because like I'm the boss. Why the hell not? Therefore, I just checked for a watch that isn't there. That's how my day's going. Let's start. <clears throat> we know you tried it. Why lie about it? Because women are whores and have to save face. Okay, like, this was on my crackers video. And it's like, of course I tried it. I try everything I review. Bless your heart, but you aren't paying attention. Mm. You need toys, as no man could get erect looking at you. You are nasty. I'm not going to tell him what I do for a living like one of y'all could, though. OMG, lol, what a slut can obviously not stay of the cock. These videos are going to be great for kids looking for toys on YouTube. We've covered this. My shit is like 18 and up. It's behind content warnings. I mark it as NSFW. Not just that. There's nothing sexy in my toy reviews. Like, most kids that are, like, seriously of an age to go hunting for dildos, A, they're going to lie about their age and see it anyway, which I'm super uncomfortable with, and B, I'd rather they find my shit, which is actually educational, as opposed to, you know, like, some of the bullshit you'll find out there. Ah, your dad must be so proud of his little hooer. Wait, sorry, you have no idea who your father is, do you? You really need toys, as no man could have gotten erect if they had to look at you. I think this is the same dude. This is the same dude. Okay, so he has a theme he likes to extrapolate upon. And uh, trying to insult people in my profession by telling us we don't know who our dad is, is like tired as fuck. Also, yeah, like, I know who he is. Behold my field of fucks. Mm. Please open pussy. This is right up there with show bobs BB and show feet. Like, dude, I used to be a cam girl. This is not even... Man, I don't even have the energy to get annoyed by it. I'm just like, ah, oh, yes, one of those. I bet he hangs out on Chatterbait. What is average depth of a vagina? Sir, I'm not Google. I don't know. I have never shoved a ruler in my cooter, but I might now for science. However, I don't know. That's a question for somebody that isn't me. Or if it is a question for me, it's a question that you commission at Ko-Fi because then I, you've put money in and I care enough to go find out. <clears throat> I got a real dick and a real name you can use, mama. What the fuck? Okay, cool, you've got a real dick. Real dicks are way more troublesome than silicone dicks, for one. For two, when I do go for a real dick, like... <sighs> it takes a really nice dick to make me put up with the man that's attached to it, usually. Mm. Lily, these dildos are too small for er big pussy. Too small. Giant pussy, it just flaps in the breeze. Oh, bless. No, it actually sounds like a bagpipe. Every time I sit down, it's just a giant... <sighs> Men. Yeah, a $125 dildo that makes you nasty loose. It's for loose giant vaginas. Nasty. We've covered this. It doesn't. But, like, okay, so for real. Out of all the time I've spent doing custom fetish videos, 
usually when you see somebody that has a certain word or words that they keep circling back to and expounding upon, it's because those words are a particular kink trigger. I would be absolutely willing to bet that this dude has some kink for loose, nasty vagina. I'd bet money on it. Why is this allowed on YouTube? Because it's not porn? Like, honestly, that's the shortest answer. It's allowed on YouTube because it isn't porn. There's no nudgy touching. There's nothing hateful or incentivizing hatefulness. It's just a product review. And the only reason why y'all think it's anything else is because you got some puritanical shit you need to unpack. Marcus Rocker, with our absolute most impactful statement of the day. Mmm, I come, beautiful ass. Emoji. This is one of those things that I think is just gross. Like, okay, cool, you rubbed one out to one of my videos. People rub it out to lots of my stuff. Whatever. Don't tell me about it unless you're doing it either A, on one of the tube sites where your comments actually have a positive effect on the algorithm. B, you're messaging me about it directly in which they're like, there should be money attached for making me talk about it. Or C, like, you're one of my premium people because I care about their ejaculations. Not so much on everybody else's though. Bob Miller. Looks like an ice cream cone. Wondering if you lick on it. This has got to be my big ass Neapolitan crackers. This one. And yeah, it does. And no, I don't. And I'm not lifting that thing back up so it can live there. Could you suggest or review some couples sex toys for hands-free clitoral stimulation during sex? Ricky, I could. You could have me do it. If you go to ko-fi.com slash Lily O'Reilly and you pay me 25 bucks, I will absolutely round up that information for you. But unless money goes in, this is a real self-directed channel. And I don't know if you've noticed, but it's quarantine. I'm not really getting laid. So couples toys aren't that high on my radar right now. Tony Johnson. Lily, I like to help you use them all. Bet you would, bud. Besides masturbating, do you do anything else in life? Somebody has not looked at my channel. Bitch, I raise worms. I have a pet snake and a pet frog and I garden and I do native prairie restoration. And what else have I done recently? I do shit. Like, oh, I do the bone box vulture culture stuff. That's pretty cool. Um... I like assembling Ikea furniture, as you can tell. Like, yes, we all have lives outside of whatever we do on YouTube. Like, this guy has probably got to be the same kind of guy that goes to a gaming channel. It's like, do you do anything other than play Pokemon? It's like, yeah, but Pokemon's the shit that's monetized, bud. Ergo, it's what we show you. <sighs> Bless him and his terrible username. You need a toy that big? No. Like, Maslow's hierarchy of needs does not involve giant monster dildos. They're a luxury. This is the flop of YouTube. Don't do this. Oh, and don't name your fucking dildo. I think he was mad about Joe. The only reason why I've named Joe, who is my statistically average penis is because he's the co-host. He might have also been mad about one of my bad dragon toys because he doesn't understand that companies do things like name the individual models the same way that vehicle companies name individual models because that's how you differentiate things. Bad dragon would not be doing so well if it was 001, 002, 003, you know? It's marketing, bud. Here's something I've been wondering for a little while. 
with all these fascinatingly unique designs and styles and shapes of toy, do they ever make them hallowed for a penis to fit inside? I'm trying to imagine the experience this could give for someone to put it on them, most likely with some kind of strap-on assistance, and engage in sex with someone giving them the experience of the toy and perhaps acting as a sex toy for the wearer as well. Just a thought. Okay, so I actually have a Ko-Fi commission that I'm working on for this. Yes, they do make toys that are hollowed out for you to put a penis in. They're called sheaths, usually. Sometimes they're called sleeves. By and large, you put the dick in and then there's a ring that hooks around the balls. You put the dick in and then there's a ring that hangs around the balls to hold it on. I've got a couple and I'm going to be pulling them out when I do the Ko-Fi commission on sheaths and sheaths and sleeves. Yeah. Before you know it, you will be fucking horses if you use shit like that. Ah, oh, is it in my backdrop right now? Yes. I know what he was pissed about, probably. I have a chance. This is a toy from Bad Dragon that is equine in nature it it's long like that's why i bought it it's really easy to use a toy that's long because you got extra dick that sticks out to make the camera angles easier it's not because i want to fuck a horse horses are big and they're sweaty and they smell like horse and they bite and you can't control the depth on them like yes is a horse shaped thing fun yeah. Do I want to fuck a horse? No. It's gotta make it past the... Oh, fuck me. What's his name? Oh, it's gotta pass the Harkness test. As a certified monster fucker, if you also are a certified monster fucker, most people agree that in order for a monster or a creature to be fuckable, it's gotta pass the Captain Jack Harkness test, which is... Is it of sexual maturity age? Is it sentient enough to communicate to you that it consents to sex? That's pretty much it. Now a horse may be of sentient fuckable age, but it cannot fucking consent or communicate that consent in a meaningful way. Don't fuck it. Now, if our alien overlords that I've been seeing running around on TikTok are planning on coming down and they can communicate to me that they want to use me as some sort of egg incubator, and I've got rough assurances that they're not going to, like, eat me from the inside, I'm down. That passes the Harkness test. I will hop on that alien booty. But a horse? Nah. Not my thing. Mm. Very insightful here. Slut. Yes. Yes. But I'm a monetized slut. Which shows good business acumen. A white woman doing a review of plastic penises. Ooh, um, anti-Semitism warning. If you are sensitive to anti-Semitism, please skip this. I'm going to read it because I want people to know the sort of bullshit that's out there, but I don't condone this. Like, more so than I usually don't condone this. Cool? Jews really destroyed the U.S. and Europe. This world is too much garbage and filth for me. Imagine your mother, son, watching you raiding the stupid plastic you shove into your ass while your people have been removed from the land your fathers built. And with that disgusting half-shaved head. Okay, this is a whole ass dumpster fire and I'm ready to just chuck the person out with the bathwater. This is not salvageable. No argument is salvageable if you have the absolute fuck all temerity to bring up the Jews as an arguing point. One does not point at a persecuted people and try to use them to... <sighs> They're an asshole. Their points are invalid. We don't condone anti-Semitism here. Fuck that. And, like, none of their other points are any better. I am very curious about my people being removed from the land my fathers built. Because 
We left Ireland. Intentionally. The only people that removed us from there were the fucking Europeans that starved us out during the potato famine. Any land here, my fathers did not build. We stole it. Every bit of land that I currently live on is stolen and deserves to be returned to the people we stole it from. Like, okay, no weight to the argument and I'm not getting my blood pressure up over it. <clears throat> Good review, different kind of item. And as to no makeup, you look far better and more real and more sexy with glasses and natural face. Stop apologizing and just toss the makeup gear. All right, this one also gets me heated, but for different reasons. If you don't live in my skin, you don't get an opinion on what I put on my face. There are people who like me with makeup. There are days that I like me with makeup. Is some of that because we live in a shitty society that has unrealistic beauty standards? Yes. However, like today, I got some eyeliner on, I got some mascara. I got some lipstick. There's some like blushy shit and there's foundation. Well, there's the poofter foundation, not the liquid kind. But I put makeup on so my face reads better on camera the same way that people put makeup on when they're on stage. It's not because I necessarily think I'm lacking, but that it's easier to see my eyes if there's black shit on them. It's easier to see my mouth when it's a different color than the rest of my skin. If you don't perform in front of a camera, stafu, ah, you don't understand what you're talking about. Mm. Alien dick based off of probably. You like furry hentai or hentai? Just curious, maybe you just like the toys. Kid, I was born in the 90s. Of course I went through a hentai phase and a furry hentai phase, like, everybody else did, I think. I mean, everybody that I ran into. Regardless, it's a common thing. Who gives a shit? All right, we're gonna hit one more and then I'm gonna call it because corsets are tight and they make breathing funny. But they're also like really comfortable because they put all my titty weight up here and they put the titty weight on the hips and they don't put the titty weight on the shoulders, which feels nice. I need to get my ass in gear and get something like this for sitting at the computer because it makes it hard to slouch and it's just comfortable. All right, last one. <sighs> now, women have become absolute whores today. You are an obscene pig of a woman. YouTube, why are you recommending this garbage on my profile? Now, first off, given the username, which is 88, I don't buy it, 88, you can fuck off, you Nazi trash fire. We don't fuck with y'all around here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in the alphabet, the eighth letter is H. H, H. <laughs> 88 is a very common flag used by white supremacists, Nazis, and other literal human garbage. So you can pretty safely say that if you see that in a username, especially if it's repeated, especially if it's accompanied by other dog whistles, you're dealing with a piece of shit. But regardless, why is YouTube recommending this on their profile? because they've been watching shit like this. Nobody, very rarely do people, just get dropped a dildo video out of the blue. It is almost always something where either you have been watching shit like this, or the people like you have been watching shit like this. Easy peas. Now I, now that I've gotten heated and run into multiple pieces of shit in today's post that I wasn't expecting. I'm going to take my corset off. I very much hope that you have a lovely day. And if you would like to see more of me, including, you know, the other stuff I get up to in my corset, that is at allmylinks.com slash Lily O'Reilly. 
If you want to throw me a couple bucks on Ko-Fi for dealing with the sort of commenters that I go through so they don't wind up on my videos, oh, that is all at ko-fi.com slash Lily O'Reilly. That's also where you can find where to commission videos. Oh, breathing. Breathing is a good feeling. So I'm going to call it a day. I hope you have a lovely day. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.